Hi everybody, this is Steve Grizzetti, co-founder of MoviePicks.com and author of the MoviePicks.com guide to Premiere Elements. And here I am in Adobe Premiere Elements. Now, one of the cool features that was added to Premiere Elements a couple generations ago, and I think it is available on both the PC and the Mac since version 2020, is the ability to output animated GIFs. Now animated GIFs are usually very short, only a couple seconds or so, and they repeat, they loop. When you're played in a web browser, they go over and over again. So they're usually just a short single move, maybe somebody dancing or maybe somebody doing a repetitive action. We're going to create one here. And as I say, by nature, they are very short. They don't have any sound to them, so it doesn't matter what's on your soundtrack. But I have a very brief clip here on the timeline. It's only about a second and a half long. And it's this little girl sitting at the table. Notice there's not a lot of movement or not a lot of camera movement anyway. But she simply halfway through her hot dog gives us a thumbs up. Now, in order to get the clip to loop, in other words, to end at the same place it starts, I'm going to make a copy of that clip by right clicking and selecting copy, move the playhead here till after that clip, and then go up to the edit menu and select paste. So there's a duplicate of that clip and I'll put them right next to each other. And then I'm going to right click to select the second clip, go to the clip submenu and select time stretch. In time stretch, we can reverse speed. In other words, we're going to set the second clip to play backwards. Click OK. So the first clip goes forward, the second clip goes backwards. So the second clip ends on the same frame as the first clip begins. Now it won't look like it's reverse, but here we'll have a simple loop, right? Here she is sitting at the table, her thumb comes up, and then it goes back down to where it was. And when this loops, it will be seamless. Again, ending on the same frame as we started. So we've got just under three seconds of video here, and that's the perfect length for a GIF. Go to Export and Share, and under Image, the Image tab, select GIF. Now, there are only two options for resolution here for animated GIF, and that is 320 by 240, which is pretty small, and 852 by 480, which is just about right. So we'll select that. It's called Zoe Animation. We'll select a location for it here. I'm just going to put it right here in my video folder and then click Save. Just take a few seconds here and we're done. So we open up the folder and if we scroll down here to the very bottom, there is Zoe Animation. Now I want to see a play. I'm not going to, you can see by default it opens in Photoshop or Photoshop Elements. I'm going to right click. I'm going to select Open With Let's choose another app. I'm going to select Google Chrome. It's just my preferred browser. Any browser will, be, will work just fine. So you could use Microsoft Edge or you could use Safari or whatever. And click OK. There's our browser and there's our animated GIF. Now isn't that nice since it ends where it begins? It just looks like a continuous motion and that's just three seconds of video repeating and repeating. Pretty cool, huh? Very, very simple. And it's a tool that's available on both the Mac and the PC. It used to be a PC only tool, but now I believe it's available on the Mac and the PC versions of Premiere Elements. You wanna know more about this program? All these little hidden tools in here and hidden features? Check out the tips and tutorials we have at moviepix.com. If you wanna know every single thing, everything there is to know about Premiere Elements, check out the moviepix.com guide to Adobe Premiere Elements. It's available at amazon.com. I'm the author, Steve Grizzetti. Thanks for joining me. See you again real soon.